Sell Your Car UK is back and delighted to offer for sale this absolutely stunning Honda Civic. Now this is a 1.8 iVTEC EX Edition iShift petrol automatic, which is a bit of a mouthful. Uh, but basically, sum that up, it's a 1.8 petrol. EX means it's pretty much the top of the range. Missing a few little bits like the uh, sunroof and the leathers. And it is the iShift, which means it is a six speed automatic gearbox with manual override. Now with all that said and done, it's a 2007 on a 57 plate, currently on its third keeper. It's done just under 49,000 miles, coming with an MOT until January of 2017, having been serviced as well in January of 2016 at the same time as the MOT, and that was done less than 4,000 miles ago. It's in really lovely condition. Considering the age of the vehicle, there's hardly a mark on it, and I'll get up close and personal with the car as we go around in this video, but as I just walk around it, you can see for yourself, there's no scrapes, no dents, no dings really. It really is in absolutely lovely condition. Now this being the EX model, it's coming with those alloy wheels, front fog lights, but this one's also got front and rear parking sensors, dual zone climate control, a multi-function steering wheel with Bluetooth connectivity, cruise control, and to top it all off, something that's very rare and hard to find in these, it's got the satellite navigation as well. Now let's get up close and personal with the car just to show you the condition of it. So there's a couple of little stone chips on the bonnet, which I'll just show you here. I think it's to be expected on a car of this age. There's no point respraying a whole bonnet just for those. Uh, down on the front bumper, there's a tiny little bit of a scuff just here. Now I'm showing you all of this because I don't want you to get any surprises, certainly nasty ones if you're coming down to see the car. I want you to know exactly what it is you're coming down to see. And as I step away, you will notice those marks just vanish. But as I say, I don't want you to have any nasty surprises. We're gonna carry on uh, down the driver's side of the car. A little bit of marring just here. The car would definitely benefit from a really thorough machine polish. Uh, we can facilitate that here at Sell Your Car UK, but it's coming sold as seen as you see it here. Uh, this is a privately owned vehicle that's being sold using the services here, our brokerage service at Sell Your Car UK. I'm just showing you a couple of tiny little paint chips just there. Carrying on down the side of the passenger side here, you can see again, there's no dents, there's no dings, no one's opened their car door into this one. We've not done any work to the car ourselves. There's no paint work been done by us or dent repairs. So it's coming in a really original, and honest condition. This is exactly how the car uh, was and is when the car was given to us to uh, help sell by the current registered keeper. So I'm just showing you as well, nice thing here. There are some very, very, very faint little marks, little scratches here, but I've seen a lot worse in my time, let me tell you. Uh, and as I say, that will polish out with a full machine polish. Carrying on around the car, I'm being very fussy, but I wanna show you absolutely everything. Looks like a tiny little bit of a chip on the paint there. Uh, now, I haven't shown you the wheels, but I will do. They're all in good condition. There's one that's got a bit of curbing to it. Uh, I'm going to just show you while I'm here, uh, this one at the rear of the car, and as well, loads of life left in those tyres. Doesn't need discs or pads, although they'll probably be needing changing in, oh, I'd say about 10,000 or so miles, perhaps just to be on the safe side. You can just see the edges there, top and bottom but it is in good condition. It breaks lovely. There's plenty of life in those pads. Uh, probably last you, well, they'll definitely last you to the next service at least, which is in about 6,000 miles time or January, depending on how you want to carry on servicing the car. Uh, just show you, actually while I'm here, the condition of the alloy wheel. It's very tidy, no curbing marks. It's all very clean, good condition. Uh, just show you the front one as well, because I did skip over it just to show you here as well, in very nice condition. To be fair, the driver's sides normally are. It's normally the passenger sides that have any marks on them, and I will show you them in due course. This is a relatively new tire. You can still see the hairs on it there, and you can see there's loads of grip, loads of tread left on that. Uh, again, just to show you the discs. Now, obviously, this is uh, just really giving you a rough guide. If you want to do any inspection on the vehicle, we're more than happy to facilitate that here at Sell Your Car UK when you come to have a look at the car. Just trying to show you as best I can 
the uh, thickness of those pads if you're picking that up, if you can see what you're looking at there, or if you know what you're looking at. Uh, but any inspection is welcome. If you want to get the RAC or the AA to inspect the vehicle, then we can arrange that. Uh, or indeed, if you and a mate or a garage mechanic, somebody you know wants to have a look at it, by all means, we're happy, as I said, to help you out and get the car fully inspected. The cars do get inspected by ourselves. This car's no different. Uh, everything's checked out before it even goes on sale, and this car is running beautifully. Just to show you now, rear parking sensors, as I mentioned, no scuffs or scrapes at the back here. Tailgate as well is in good order. No dings or dents, no scratches. Nice thing about these cars as well is that tailgate covers the entire of the bumper. So where you might sometimes see scratches and dinks where people have been taking things in and out of the bonnet, uh, out of the boot, pardon me. Uh, Honda Civics don't suffer from that, which is a nice thing. And now as we come around to the passenger side of the car, starting here at the corner, you can see my feet and uh, you can see my head. It's a rather unusual person right there, isn't it? Uh, right, anyway, enough mucking around. I love these exhaust pipes. You don't see these on the new shaped Civics. I think that's a real loss for the car. Those beautiful triangular exhaust pipes just jutting out the bottom there really look great. Uh, now, just to show you along the side here, again, no dings, no dents. You can also see, again, like you did probably the other side if I didn't really pick up on it, but uh, the paint is in really, really good condition. As I said, it's all original. It is a really honest car, this one. Uh, just as I am here, I'll show you quickly the wheel at the back here. Uh, there is a tiny bit of curbing just there, very, very minor, but otherwise the rest of this wheel is in very, very good condition. I'll briefly show you again the discs, although again, as I say, it's probably better to have a look at these in person, but it stops on a dime, it's driving beautifully, and loads of life in those tyres. Carrying on down the side, just showing you there's no scratches or scrapes, no dings or anything like that. It's in really lovely condition. Tiny little bit of a paint chip just there. And I'm being very fussy now, but just showing you one there as well. Obviously people have bumped this car with their door. I think you'd expect that at 50,000 miles, but really it's in fabulous condition. I think it's as good as you'd find in any sort of dealership or, uh, or secondhand car sales forecourt. And we're delighted to have it on sale here through us at Sell Your Car UK. Coming down this side now, I'm just gonna finish off by showing you this wheel. As I said, uh, it's usually the passenger side that takes the brunt of the car's damage on the uh, parking side of things, and this is certainly uh, reflective of that. Just showing you here the edges of this wheel shows that it has been curbed. You could probably do with a refurb if you are that fussy in that particular. Uh, you're probably looking at around, for a decent job, you're looking at around about 55 pounds, including the VAT. Uh, obviously there are people who will do it for less, but obviously you get what you pay for. A little bit of a chip as well there on the face of the spoke. That is the worst offender, and really it's not that bad. You can quite easily live with it, but it's entirely up to yourself. And again, great discs, great pads, and great tires. Uh, now we didn't actually focus on this side, so I'll just quickly show you. Here we've got a nice bumper, nice and tidy. You can see again, hello. You can see my reflection there. You can see how clear that is. So it's a nice paint job on the car. Again, you've got those front parking sensors, low level fog lights, and it's in really, really lovely condition. And that brings us back to where we all began here at the front of the car. Now, it doesn't end there in this video. Let's get up close and personal with the inside of the car. Now, to do so, we obviously need keys, and we have two of them. The car's coming with both its original Honda keys. I shall unlock the car, open it up, and let's have a look now inside. Now, as I mentioned before, it's the EX spec. Now, sometimes you'd get leather, sometimes you'd get velour. This one is the latter. So this is a velour interior, which is in really good condition. There's no tears, uh, there's no smells either. It's never been used to carry any animals unless you, of course, take into consideration small children, uh, which this has been used for. But I'll show you the back in due course. It's in good condition as well. But I just want to show you here as well, there are no smokers. So you can't see that in the video, but there are no bad smells or odors that are hanging around inside this car. And just really trying to show you that it is in really great condition. Uh, it's a height adjustable front seat for the driver. They are manually operated. You've got electrically operated windows. The front two are auto up and down. And you've also got electrically operated wing mirrors where they are also electrically folding, which is a very nice thing to have. 
Very, very cool stop start button here, or rather start button, it's not actually a stop button. So we'll show you that in a second as I just jump into the car now. And I'm going to pop the key in the ignition, just down here, foot on the brake, and then push this start button. And you'll see it starts first time, no issues whatsoever. No warning lights staying on, it is in beautiful mechanical condition. The only lights you can see are the ones telling me to put my seatbelt on and take off the handbrake. Now, we're not going to go for a drive in this video. All test drives are welcome, so please get in touch with us here at Cellular Car UK. We'll be happy to facilitate that, but we're not going to drive the car in this video, so those lights will stay on. They do go off, I can assure you. Uh, there's the mileage, you can just see that down there, 48,890. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Honda Civic's dash, Check this out. I mean, that's just awesome. Uh, if I push this big button here in the middle here, I can put on my sat nav screen. It's like, I'm honestly, it's like as close to a fighter pilot's cockpit sort of design as you're ever likely to get. It's beautiful curving sort of glass and black plastic uh, facade or fascia, as it's called, or fascia. Fascia is probably the right word for it, um, but it looks brilliant. I love it, big fan. And this thing in the middle here, that can be adjusted. You've got a multifunction steering wheel with this big eye here, and I press that, and you can see here it scrolls through all of our little trips. So it's showing you the uh, miles per gallon, currently doing naught miles per gallon, because we're sitting still. On average though, we've achieved 25 and a half miles per gallon on that trip. Uh, which is 636 miles. Uh, we've got, a, and I'm looking there at trip B, which is that little thing down there, 636 and a half. The big 146 with the petrol can or petrol filler upper and the uh, petrol filler upper. Never used that term before. And the car, that's showing your range. That's your distance to empty, which is a very, very useful feature to have. So it's 146 currently with just under half a tank of fuel. Uh, and anyway, you can scroll through that little eye and it shows you all these different bits and bobs and it's very cool. Uh, also on your multifunction steering wheel, just to show you, you have got cruise control over here, which is an incredibly useful function to have and I highly recommend using it. Over here, you've got the controls for your stereo. And below that, you've got your voice controls, just showing you here more voice controls. And these ones are specifically to sync your phone. So it has got Bluetooth connectivity, uh, which means you've got hands-free in the car. Uh, now also on the steering wheel, you've got these little paddles. Now these are to change gear manually, which you are able to do because it is an I-shift, which means it's got the automatic six-speed gearbox with manual override. The AM just over there is for automatic and manual. And pull it down here for reverse. Now there's a tiny bit of wear on this uh, leather around here. And likewise, there is a little bit of wear on the steering wheel as well. I'll just try my best to show you that there. You can probably pick that up. Uh, it is to be expected. Unfortunately, there's nothing that can be done about it. Uh, and it really won't get severely worse than that. Um, I mean, as I say, it, it says it's a leather steering wheel. You can see the stitching, so you know, only time will tell. But it is in good condition considering, because uh, obviously they all go the same way, these steering wheels. Uh, continuing on the fascia, I think we'll call it that, or fascia, or fascia. Anyway, is the dual zone climate control. So here you've got the controls for it. Uh, if I press, for example, mode, uh, we can see the screen up here highlights where the air is flowing. I can press that again and change through that. I can increase the fan speed, which is much needed at the moment, and I can change the temperature using this dial here. But as well as that, and you can see here now on this little screen as part of this awesome cockpit design, how the temperature, I'll just turn that down so you can hear me so I don't have to shout, the temperature is going up and down. Now that is synced for both sides, but if I press, there's a dual button here, I can just turn up the driver's side. And to adjust the passenger side, they've got controls just over here on their door handle section. How cool is this? So again, pushing the up and down, you can see that that adjusts that accordingly. Uh, and that is all pressed using this little button here that says dual. And I can turn that off like so, and I can circulate the air if I don't want it coming in from the outside. And it has got air conditioning, which is fully topped up and is working beautifully, it gets very, very cold very, very quickly. Heated wing mirrors and rear screen, heated front screen, all these buttons are all over here. You can go through all of that in due course. Likewise as well, you've got a very cool stereo. I'll just give you a little blast of BBC that's London. Horrendous. Yeah, but that's, that's the food for a year. Fascinating. Uh, and also we've got a uh, little controls here, which controls your 
uh, navigation. Now, as I said at the start of this video, it's incredibly rare to find satellite navigation in one of these Honda Civics. Even the EX, it didn't come with it as standard. Uh, and this one was obviously fitted at great expense to the original keeper. And it's a great thing to have. It's as simple as that. So you can see there the full map screen. It's all adjusted here. And we've got the manuals as well to help you use it. Uh, other things to show you in the front of this car would be the floor mats. Now you've got one over here, obviously, but you've also got one over here, but it does have a little hole in it. A little hole from a heel, uh, which has obviously done its damage over time. Uh, you've got nice this uh, nice um, sports style pedals there my funky old trainers that are looking a little bit worse for wear uh, and that's pretty much all I need to show you here in this in the front I'm gonna turn the engine off you don't need to keep that running anymore but just showing you there that the car's running beautifully uh, and I want to show you just briefly a little bit of storage that you've got here and also in here and now it's a bit redundant for most of us but you've got a cable for an iPod 4 uh, that was fitted uh, by Honda but it is an aftermarket part. Uh, and if you wanted to have that changed, you can do it quite easily. So you can plug your phone in and play it through the stereo. Uh, it doesn't do Bluetooth streaming. Uh, we've got the locking wheel nut as well in the glove compartment. I won't show you all of that. Uh, cup holders. And in the back here, just to show you here, the condition of the back. Okay, now you're getting a lot of shadow here because the sun has decided it wants to come out, which is very nice of it. I'm not going to complain. Uh, so I'm just showing you in the back here. It's in really good condition. As I said, uh, they do plug their babies in. You can kind of just about see their little remnants of uh, an Isofix seat that's been plugged in in the past. Uh, but it is velour, so this will just rub away over time. Uh, and also, as I say, it is Isofix. You've got those there if you need to plug your babies in. Uh, also, you've got an armrest with cup holders. But the most impressive thing about a Honda Civic's rear is without doubt that these seats, they're incredibly versatile. In fact, versatile isn't even the right word for it because they're ingenious. Have a look at that. So I'm just all one-handed, still holding the camera. I'm able to fold these seats completely up so you can now get something absolutely monumental into the back of this car. Uh, and you've still got the full use of that seat over there. Now the seat over there does exactly the same thing. I've just got my massive shadow in this, but uh, you are getting the gist of this, I hope. Uh, both of the seats do exactly the same thing and they just pop back into place. Uh, and as well as that, they do obviously fold as well. And they fold, oh, that's annoying the headrest up, but they fold completely flat was my point I was going to make. Uh, I'll show you that when you come and see the car. It's just fabulous. It's such a clever thing. Uh, now I'm gonna go into the boot because in the boot, in true Sell Your Car UK style, we have all of the docks. Now we're not gonna show you absolutely everything because also time and also data protection. Uh, but I just wanna show you first of all that we have got the logbook for the car. It's showing two former keepers. You will be the fourth, so it's three owners from new. We've got an MOT that was carried out at the end of January 2016. That's actually my little boy's birthday. It's a sign. It's a sign. I should get this car for him. He's one. He's almost two. Uh, well, he's not almost two. He'll be two then. But anyway, uh, he's not getting this car. Someone else's. It could be you. It was done at 45,314 miles, that MOT. There are no advisories. And at the same time, it also had a service. We can see that done here by an independent mobile mechanic. Uh, who's actually very, very well recommended uh, and had serviced the car before this one. Uh, this previous service was done in 2015. Uh, you can see the mileage here, 36471, 45314. It is well looked after. The previous mileage to that service was done in 2012 uh, at 25,000 miles. That was just after this current keeper got the car. They bought the car in September of 2011. Uh, we've got other services going back as well all the way to the original first service done in January of 2009 at 9,723 miles. Coming with the car as well, you've got all of your handbooks, including your uh, navigation system instructions and the instructions for the car itself. And this car is not on run flat. Some of these are, I'll just quickly show you, we've got the handbooks all held in that nice little wallet. Uh, some of these cars are on run flats. You can always change it to run flats. If you do, you'll get a very cool bit of storage that lives just under here, which at the moment is being taken up by a space saver spare wheel. We've also got all the tools that are necessary for that, including obviously, and most importantly, the locking wheel nut. Uh, but as I said, if this wasn't here, 
then you can drop this down and you actually get uh, an extra bit of floor. You can actually open that down and you have a bigger space in the back here. Very, very clever. Or indeed, if you wanted to, uh, you could just use this space to store things securely, should you so wish. Uh, right now, for fear of damaging documents, I shall move all of this out of the way and pop that back down there. Uh, you can see as well, doing it all one-handed. It's very, very easy to use this car. It's lovely. So there we have it, all the docks. Uh, they will come with the car. And that's it. I think I've covered everything. There's nothing more to show you. It's in lovely condition. Uh, uh, there are warranties that are available. We do provide warranties here at Warranty Wise or from Warranty Wise. So if you wanted a warranty with the car, we could certainly arrange that for you. Uh, and also finance. Now the car is priced to sell. It's not expensive as far as uh, financing goes. You'd probably be better off getting a loan through a bank or Tesco's or Sainsbury's or someone like that who are doing ridiculously good rates at the moment. Uh, however, if you want to talk to us about any of these things, finance, warranties, part exchange as well, then I'm more than happy to have that discussion discussion with yourself. But there's only one place to get this gorgeous Honda Civic 1.8i VTEC EX iShift 5 door and that is exclusively through us here at Sell Your Car UK. Thanks for watching.